name is Lana Sharmook and today I will be demonstrating a urinalysis. First things first, you want to make sure you have all of your equipment out and ready to be used. And then you want to make sure you have your urine sample as well as your urinalysis record sheet. On the urinalysis record sheet, you're going to write the patient name, the collection method, the date, time of collection, and your initials. That way the urine samples don't get mixed up as you're walking through the clinic. So this urine sample I had gotten from one of our animals here. So you want to go ahead and put all that information on here. Um, the collection method I used was a free hand, free catch. The day for me is the 24th. And then the time of collection, I had collected it at 11 a.m. and my initials. Your next step after that is to put your gloves on and get ready to transfer the urine over into the clear vial. Now you want to open up your urine sample and grab your tube. So I would say you want to fill it up to about the first line with the urine. Right there should be perfect. And then you want to set that back, close up your urine sample so it doesn't get contaminated. And now you can follow me over to the centrifuge. Now as you can see I have two tubes. So for the first one you want to place it in there. And you want to take the second one and fill it to the same amount as the other one with water so it balances out when we spin it. All right. Now that we have our water too, we just want to place it in there, that way it is vertical of each other. And we want to close the lid and spin it on low for six minutes. It'll let us know when it's ready, it'll ding. Now that we're back at where we started, we just want to do our quick visual inspection of the urine sample. So first things first is you want to take your urine sample, look through it, and then record the color. So from all I see it is a dark yellow and the clarity of it is pretty clear. Now you want to do the odor test, and you just want to open it and waft it. I will say it has a pretty mild odor. And then you want to record that as well, and now onto the specific gravity. Now onto the specific gravity, you just want to take a drop of urine and place it onto your refractor meter. And then you want to look into the light and get your specific gravity. For mine, I got a specific gravity of 1.02, and you want to record all that information onto your urinalysis record sheet. Now that we have that done, we are going to move on to the next step and do a urine test strip. So you just want to take a urinalysis test strip and you want to take some urine and you're just going to put a drop on each one of these colors. And now I'm going to do the rest off camera and come back to you guys. Now that we have waited the full two minutes, we are going to take our test strip and compare it to the bottle and record our results. Now that we have waited the six minutes, we're going to open up our centrifuge and take our sample back to the table. Now that we're back over here, we're going to take our urine sample that we had spun in the centrifuge and dump it out, dump out what's going to come out and keep the most concentrated part in the tube, like that. And then you just want to take one drop of that and place it onto your microscope slide. going to need to take your sediment dye and pour three drops of that into the concentrated urine that's left inside of the vial. Now you're just going to do a quick mix with the pipette and that should be good and now you just want to take a drop of that and place it onto your microscope slide just like that. Now you just want to place on your clear cover onto where you place your drops. And that is how you do a urinalysis. Now I will wait for the veterinary technicians while I clean all this up to view it under the microscope. Thank you for watching.